this out. This is my 1851 Confederate. It's based off of a Colt. All right, so pretty cool. Black powder. I'm a novice when it comes to all of this. I just picked up the number 10 caps. And uh, I've already test fired it once. I test fired it. I'm going to do it a little bit stronger. So I'm going to go at the line of 25 grain. I was a little under. That's where that's at right there. I don't know if you can see that clearly. And I'm pretty much not that good at loading this up. But here, I'll show you my process. And this is the second time me ever loading any of these up. Uh, what I've learned from my first time, have everything out and ready. So this is a six shot. Uh, old timer was telling me always load up five so you can have a nice place to rest your hammer. He also said that you can rest the hammer of this gun. Uh... I think right there and it holds it in place that's a safe place to rest the hammer all right so here we go we got one two three four five six okay so we'll put this to the side because we're done with those uh, I don't know how to use this thing I think this is for the caps for the number 10 caps but whatever let me just check the camera okay perfect And I guess I won't be able to have that much fun. This is all the shots that I have right now. So I have, uh, let's open this up first. There's three, four. We're going to load all six of them. One more. There we go. Put that to the side. We're done with that. Like I said, I have that on 25. I got the caps. I was having such a hard time putting those caps in. I was using a screwdriver to like jam them in there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out. I did very little research. I talked to the guy I purchased the gun off of. I purchased this gun at uh, Cabela's. Uh, forget which one exactly. And then I purchased the caps at Dunkelberg's in Strasburg, Pennsylvania. Very, very helpful guy, this old timer, um, Gordon. Very nice guy. So let's uh, load up the ammunition first. So there should, some people have a stand. You click it there until it spins. Okay, and I guess you load it up from this angle. So any uh, hardcore black powder enthusiasts are gonna hate the way I'm doing all of this. Uh, before you leave me some fucking hate, uh, let me know what I can do to improve you know, to make it easier for myself. I gotta be honest with you. I've dealt with so many firearms, right? And not not more than most. Well, more than most. But uh, this is like the scariest thing that I've ever done. You know? And I, but, you know, I'm pretty... I like to consider myself knowledgeable of firearms and whatnot, but something about dealing with black powder, and this is not, this is a, like synthetic black powder or something I saw the guy was mentioning to me. This right here is so difficult to like gauge. You know, what am I doing? You know, is that heavy? Is that, is that gonna be a heavy load at 25? So what, that's gonna be 26 grain. And uh, to dump it in there, I wish there was a funnel or something, you know, just, Pouring it in. Well, you can see that. That's in there. Then I bought these. They have a wax liner on it. So it stops it from chain firing. Which chain firing to me sounds fucking crazy. I would imagine that a spark happens and all of them just go off. And uh, I could imagine if one of them goes off and it's lined up with that. Or lined up here here what happens to the gun the ricochet who cares about that because that's not gonna happen and if it does we're gonna catch it on fucking video so yeah like this i hope i'm doing all this right in the meantime the reason i purchased this gun is because uh, we're doing a little bit of decorating upstairs and i want to be able to hang this gun i'm gonna get a nice frame for it you know and hang it up on the wall 
right? I was gonna get a rifle, you know, an old timey rifle, hang it up on the wall somewhere above the fireplace. So I'm gonna do two of them. I'm gonna see, hang them up somewhere in the house where it looks nice. Uh, I have something against hanging up firearms or putting up any firearm that's, that doesn't function, you know? Oh, Jesus Christ. I like to smoke a pipe. Probably not a good time to be smoking a pipe, which I'm not, but I was considering it. <laughs> hey, what's up, puppy? Okay. And Jesus, this process, man, it's... I'm sure, like I said, this is my second time doing this. But this process is... You know, this is crazy. But I consider myself a gun enthusiast, so of course you have to have a black powder revolver. And I keep calling them black powder rifle everywhere I go. Like, oh, I got a black powder rifle. And the guy's like, rifle or revolver? This is for revolvers. I'm like, I misspoke, man. Forgive me. It's a lot of fun. You know, it makes it, it does add to it. And if you got a few extra bucks, they're not that expensive. You know, you're not breaking the bank buying one of these. I think I paid like $300 for this gun. And then the entire set with everything was about 400 bucks. Brand new. It was heavily oiled, man. My God. Okay. So I got the wax in there. Tap that down. Just blowing all the powder off. So I'm going to do this from this angle so you can see because I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you unclip this like that, right? This is your plunger. You take this bad boy and you just put it right there. Line it up. And push it down. <laughs> that thing is awesome. There should be a little lead ring. You see that little lead ring that's in there? It'll come out. And then we'll do the same thing. Move it over. Hold that up, put the ball there, and my God, you know, they talk shit about the Second Amendment and whatnot, and, um, oh, you know what, I don't like that the powder is on the lead balls, and I just saw some powder above the lead ball, so I don't know if that might trigger that, we'll, we'll, we'll find out what happens. But they talk all this shit about the Second Amendment and blah, blah, blah. And back in the day, they only meant for muzzle-loaded muskets or whatever the fuck. Let me tell you something, man. I can guarantee you that everybody who fired the gun or owns a gun, and this type of gun, couldn't wait until you didn't have to do all this. I mean, yeah, it's awesome. But for fuck's sakes. And I'm like a little bit extended trying to be on camera. Trying to be a dork and record this, you know? Jeez Louise, you know? Here we go. How many we got? One more to go. But it is fun, you know? For home defense, oof. Imagine doing this. What if I keep my finger there? Oh, I almost broke a nail. Push that down. Oh, that's tight. I never did that with the other ones. Let's give it another pat. Just, ah, oh, for the love of it, baby. For the love. There we go. I like it. I like it. Damn, I don't know if you're supposed to push down that much on it, but fuck it. They wouldn't make it like that if you can't push. That's tight. Yeah, yeah, that's where it's at. So now, the gun is half loaded. So essentially, when I bought this gun, I was like, oh, I'll keep this hung up like that. Don't admonish me. Don't give me shit for saying that comment, but that's what I was thinking. I'm an ignorant fellow sometimes. So I'm guessing this works to hold one of those in any in some type of way and put it in there. I'm loading them up here because I see no reason else why that cutout would be there if not for that. So let's uh, take and let me just uh, scoop that out. It's raining today, so it's probably the safest day to be doing this. Oh. And here are the little rings I was talking about. Little lead rings. Ooh, dirty hands, clean money, basically. Let's go. Huh. Doesn't come off too easy. That's all black powder. All right. Fuck it. See what's up.
So here's how I was doing this. And look, again, I know, probably wrong. You're probably hate me, but shut the fuck down. No shit, I'm going to be using this tool right here. This is a flathead screwdriver purchased from Tractor Supply. It came in a set. Uh, it's a fancy tool. You know, some people don't even have these. Flathead, straight blades, whatever you call it. Let's line it up. And, yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. Nice. Look, and that's a nice, snug fit. So now... Now I'm nervous. I'm nervous now doing this because I'm like, oh, that's three, six, nice. And uh, I'm always nervous with this because I think it's just going to go off. I think it's just going to pop, pop. And I'm like, fuck. You know, that sucks. That would suck. God, imagine, imagine all the guns I own telling somebody, hey, we'll kill them. Hello. Oh, shit, a little... Black powder. Ba -da. And there's no one in that direction. That is a um it's a very protective wall. Uh it won't ricochet or hit me in any way if it goes over there. That's why I have the firearm pointed in that direction. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. So I was shooting this earlier. This, this is going to be my second time shooting it. So I put six rounds through it already. Or six uh, balls through it. And um, I tell you what. I wasted like ten of these fucking caps. I'm not doing something right. But you know what? I'm learning. And ain't nothing wrong with learning. Fucking this drawing this beautiful replica of a firearm but um it is what it is you know like i said it wasn't too ooh, that i can't have that one in there definitely can't have that one in there i'm gonna have to figure something out because jesus christ Get the fuck out of here, fam. Come on. Alright. We'll cut. I'll come back to this. You'll never see this. And we're back. Had a little technical difficulty there. I'm covered in black powder. It's gonna be uh, a fucking news article tomorrow in the newspaper. You know? Talking about my fucking... Local man killed in a freak accident while stupidly jamming a screwdriver into a uh, firearm. There it is. Beautiful. I like it. And it might not shoot, you know. They're not sitting too well, man. But it is what it is. It ain't what it is. And so that's where we're at right now. Ah, <sighs> oh, fucking again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure something out because... Fuck that one up. I bet you there's an easy way to do this and I'm here struggling, but it's for your entertainment. If you're still watching, you hate watching, so hate me all you like. I welcome the hate. And if you're sitting here looking at me like I can do better, fucking sure you can. I know you can. But Jesus Almighty, give me strength. Okay, so now we're gonna go. Woo! Fucked it all up, baby! Damn. Alright, so that's where it's at. And I'm going to just bring it right here and just give it a little boop. Pop it in there, baby. Boop. Pop it in there, baby. No, if I'm doing something extremely wrong, please feel free to use this video and call me out. And um, let my ignorance be a lesson to all of you. So, this is where I'm scared of this gun here, right? Because I got to cock it back and I don't know how, you know... 
I don't, I'm gonna cock it back right here. Right there, that's the safe spot. That's why that gentleman was recommending me use an empty slot, but come on. All right, so we're gonna be taking this setup outside. It's raining. I gotta put some eyes and ears on because I don't wanna get fucked up. Ladies and gentlemen and all people in between. The fuck is that over there? Okay, it's nothing. How's it going? So we got this firearm loaded up. It's in a safe position. So hopefully it won't go off. Hopefully we won't have no chain fire. And if we do, it'll be cool, right? Give me one second. Let me make sure before I shoot these. All right, so we're still recording. So check this out. Before you give me shit about these ears that I got on right now, these are high-tech shit. All right, you can communicate with NASA with these things right here. So fuck it, let's just go for it. And we're shooting about 25 yards over there. I only have one camera set up and it's raining, so I will not have another camera over there. Uh, yeah. Very nice that it falls in place. This gun is hot. And let's one hand this bad boy. One. So that's it, man. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, second time, everything went off fine. The first time I shot this gun, a few of the rounds didn't go off for some particular reason. Um, very happy with it. And uh, yeah, man. Let me know. Give me, give me some uh, tips on how to do this right. You know, I, I, I don't want to be doing it wrong if I was doing something wrong. Please give me some information or point me in the direction that'll get me the right information. Okay, I'm a busy fucking guy. I don't got time to sit on behind and, you know, some of you guys might be.